Hello and welcome. You're here with me, Chaddy Tumblr. We're at DCS. We're in our mighty big gun and we have RF 15 anti ship missiles, two of them, and a pair of sidewinders there, um, to attack a Russian convoy. Uh, if we go onto the F 10 map, we're here, and we've been told there's a Russian convoy off to the northeast, and we have to go and engage it. Uh, we'll have a quick look at those. They are, there we go, in a big old line. So there are lots of ways of doing this, but this is one of this is a kind of a pre-planned light version. So we'll unpause it. I'm on auto level at the moment with the autopilot heading north, and um, I'm transonic. I'm at 95% RPM. I'm going to head off to the northeast because I know that they are off that way. And uh, what I just did there was uh, trim right. And if you're in level, if you've got the autopilot on and you're in auto level, then trimming right will. Uh, do an auto turn to the right, and then if you trim left, it'll stop it. If you trim left, you'll turn left, and so on. So we're going to head roughly towards it. I know 40 degrees will do. There we go. So we're heading 40 degrees off towards the target. I have no waypoint set. There's no waypoint information um, because we don't really need it. We're going to use this as a um, just as a target. So I'm going to set up the weapons first. And just right click on that to attack mode. If you notice all my stuff is in English, there is a mod I'll put the link to um, that means you can turn your copy into English. And I'm also going to hit group select down. So this is um, preparation mode. So you've got standard mode and preparation mode because what I want the missiles to do is something unusual or something different rather. At the moment, if I were to fire two missiles straight here, what it, they will do is they will scan and the first thing they see, they will attack. So in this instance, they would be the red ski and both would hit it. Well, what I want them to do is when they scan this whole area, they'll spot all four of these. Um, they're going to give each one a random number between one and four, and it will pick a random number. So each missile will independently pick a random ship to attack. Now, what may happen is both missiles will pick the same number. If they both pick number one, for example, they will hit the rescue. But most of the time, they will pick a different number. Um, annoyingly, they don't talk to each other. Um, and if you were to fire as a big group and all the missiles went, um, they don't talk to each other. So you could, in theory, fire you know, 10 missiles from five aircraft, and they all hit the same one but hopefully they will scatter amongst the group. Um, and we're going to make them do that with a code. And we'll just unpause first. So we're going to go into input mode, attack mode. And the code we're going to use is 800 002. So 800 002, enter, like so. And then back out, back to position. So that's it. That's, that's the only kind of complicated code bit we need to put in. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to get ourselves set up. So we're going to go into attack mode and that's going to get our screen up and ready. And what we need to do is turn that screen on. I'll turn the radar on. And that is A1 mode with that. And then when we've got it on, we're going to adjust the range, um, which is here. Radar range decrease and radar range increase. So let's do that. So the radar's on. And at the moment, I'm at a 60 kilometer range and I'm going to increase to 120 kilometers. Now we may actually, there we go, we can actually see the ships. So this dark mass up here, those are ships, and that's what we're going to hit. So we want to give our missiles the best chance of hitting that as possible. So we're going to give them an aiming point. And in for these missiles, it's called BX8, the aiming point. So we're going to type, we'll push BX8. Now notice I'm in current position and I'm still in ammo. It just it automatically selects it. It's like selecting a waypoint, so BX8. There's no target information yet. We need to tell it that. So there are a few keys for this one, and it's worth writing down if you don't have them. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use T1 fix. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow us to enter information onto the radar screen. And that'll make sense in a second. When we're in that mode, we're going to use the radar stick aft, forward, left, and right to move the cursor around the radar screen. And if you notice, um, I'm using the keyboard keys, but you could use a um, like a, a top hat. Um, but aft is up and forward is down, very much like um, pitch trim on an aircraft. It's the wrong way around. Then when we've got the cursor over the target, we're going to enter that information and we're going to use the TV fix button to do that, um, which I think is default is enter anyway, um, but I have a button on my joystick. So let's see all that in action. So I'm using, so we've got these little, these marks here. I can see the ship here in a kind of a, an angle, which is nice. So I'm going to use a TV one and then that brings the cursor up. I'm going to use those uh, radar stick keys to move it over the target. And then I'm going to use the TV fix button to select it. So now we have um, ranging information. So it's uh, 10 uh, Swedish miles, which is a uh, Swedish mile is 10 kilometers. So it's 100 kilometers away 
on a heading of about 050, and that's our target. Now what is also created is, if I turn right a little bit more, it might make a bit more sense, it's made a big black cross on the screen here. Like so. Um, that is, um, so BX8 is the target waypoint, BX7 is the turning waypoint. So at the moment, it, what it wants me to do is fire the missiles towards this so they can turn it and go in. Well, that's not massively effective because that's really far away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset that location and I'm going to use BX7. And we see we're on BX7. And we're going to do the same thing we did to create this circle up here. So we're going to uh, TV1. That then gives me the cross that I can move around. Now in this instance, I want the missiles to come in from the right hand side. And if you were coordinating your attack, you could have somebody set another side. Um, so they're going to come in from the right hand side and then they're going to look at the target that way. So that'll do. And then we will TV fix it. Now my aircraft is pointing towards BX7. I re really need it to go towards BX8. So let me just go BX8 because that is going to give me the ranging information for launching the missile. The missile has a range of about 70 kilometers, and there we go, we are now inside range, or getting close to range, because I have this bar at the bottom. And what we should see is this bar along the bottom is going to get shorter and shorter until it fits inside these two vertical bars. And when it's inside there, we know that we can launch. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to let it get inside and go a little bit closer than that. So let's head a little bit more towards, I'm actually going to head towards the X because I know when, when I fire the missile, it's going to go towards that way, even though the ranging information is based on my distance towards the actual target. And you can see the HUD is off because it really wants me to go towards it. And if we look, we see the bar is coming down, and then it's going to pause, like so, and that means I'm now in range. Um, we can use this radar to help. So we know that we're on 120 kilometer range, which is the top. The halfway mark in the middle here is about 60 kilometers. So we're going to bring it just a little bit closer in because what I would hate to do is for it to burn all of its energy to get to here, turn and then fall out the sky. So we're heading halfway between the X and the circle, but you could just aim straight for the circle, I guess. Let's just do that just to show that it makes no difference. Like so uh, we are 60 kilometers, so we can see the ranging information here, 60 kilometers go. That should give us that extra bit of um, fuel for the aircraft to do the turn. And then I'm going to fire. Um, I need to take the safety off. And then I'm going to go to outside view. I'm going to press this key, which is down the bottom here, the weapon release. I'm going to press and hold it for quite a few seconds. Let me just zoom out so we can hear a bit. So I'm going to press and hold, press and hold, press and hold. OK, they're out the way. They've got good separation. I'm going to turn off the autopilot. I'm going to get out of dodge. So I know that the yellow marker was pointing towards the target. If I put that yellow marker right behind me, then I know I'm flying away from the target. There go our two missiles. I know that all my missiles have gone because the orange release light is lit up. So let's get out of dodge. Trying not to bleed off too much speed. Okay, so that's now behind me. I'm definitely heading away from the danger here. Now you could be doing this at 100 meters, um, which would be a lot more tactical. But autopilot's on and away we go. Um, at this point, you would probably select your landing airfield and then do all of that, but we don't need that for this tutorial. So our missiles are heading off like so. They are currently in their first mode where they're just, just zoom out of it so we can hear. Um, they're in the first mode where they're up high at the moment and what they will do is, as they get close to BX7, which is that black cross, they will descend down because there's a waypoint called BX6, which we didn't set. We don't need to in this special mode um, where they work out where they need to go down and do their thing. So here you go. They're, they're now descending. We can see here. And off they go. Now, what they should do is they'll fly up around, maybe pass it to about here, and then they'll turn in. Um, and do their final approach. I uh, will speed up time a little bit. Um, the Kohler map is not fully optimized at the moment, and you, if you do the time acceleration, um, it doesn't work as well as other maps. So you tend to only go to about times five. So they're still plodding along, and what I expect them to see shortly, or what I expect them to do shortly, is swing left. Now, ideally, straight onto north, but I, I think I put the waypoint a bit more here. So let's see. Meanwhile, I'm flying away, which is great, out of danger. There we go. Just slow down time. So you notice they were going northeast. They're now turned north. So oh, F6 to look at the missiles. So they're in sea skimming mode. 
and they're racing towards the target. So they're looking, both these missiles can seal four. They're now picking a number between one and four. And in a few seconds, they will decide which one they go for. Now, hopefully they've picked different targets and we'll see them. There we go, great. They split, so they have picked different targets in this instance and they're heading for it. Um, there are other codes, if you look in the uh, manual, that you can use that will um, say, instead of randomly picking target, pick the biggest thing and go for that. And that's really good for if you're taking out carriers or you want you know, something massive to get knocked out rather than uh, um, patrol boats and that kind of thing. So let's see how they do. Now, they, the missiles might just fall out of the sky. It does occasionally happen. It's a bit weird. I'm not sure why it does that, even when you're quite close. Um, you may see that they get shot down by AAA. Um, but hopefully we should get two strikes. So it looks like they're going for the Grisha. Oh, this one's swinging in. Oh, I don't know. Okay, he didn't make it. And the other guy, he made it. So there we go. So it looks like they um, they were, one of them was going for the Grisha. The other one was going for an Elnia. Um, the Grisha shot down that missile, unfortunately, um, but we did manage to get one strike on there. And while that was happening, we are, what, probably about 100 miles away, or sorry, 100 kilometers away at least. 58 miles, uh, which is 107 kilometers. So we are well out of the area, heading home. So that was using the Mighty Vigan. So you can actually hear me. The Mighty Vigan with his two RF-15 missiles in a kind of pre-planned light mode. If you have any comments or questions, please write down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, happy hunting and stay safe.